Hello and welcome to Dotto Tech. We have a picture perfect show planned as we're going to be concentrating on the latest digital photography solutions. Digital photography has become such an important part of our lives. The tools that we now have at our disposal are simply outstanding. Both major operating systems, both Vista and Mac OS X, are written with all sorts of features that are designed to support us in our digital imaging lives. So let's get started. And I think the best place to begin is with HP's PhotoSmart camera. This is the R937, HP's PhotoSmart digital camera. Now the first thing you're going to notice about this camera, from the outside at least, is the absence of both a viewfinder and any real buttons. All of the critical camera controls are managed through a 3.6 inch touchscreen. Now this is something that we're seeing through HP's entire lineup. Touchscreen interfaces give us much more control and in this case make the camera ultimately easier to use. The R937 has a 3x Fuji optical lens which captures 8 megapixel photos. Now the lens is protected when it's not in use, which is, I think, a great design feature. We use our cameras so much and we take them so many places. We often carry them in our pockets or toss them into our bags or purses or even throw them into the glove box in our car. So protecting that lens is critical to camera life and taking great pictures. You want to protect your lens. Now let's take a look at some of the features that they've built into this camera. Now uh, we're also going to take our first look at this touchscreen interface. Now the HP Photo Smart cameras all ship with HP's real life technology. This was HP's differentiating factor. The real life technologies to put the smart in Photo Smart. And these technologies include things like in camera red eye removal, pet eye fix, and the ability to touch up photos and even take a few pounds off ourselves with a nice slimming feature. And all of these features are easily accessed with the touch of this screen. I'm actually a bit smitten by this touch screen. Until I started to use it, I didn't know how much I would like it. At 3.6 inches, it's big enough to easily use the touch screen, even if you've got sausages for fingers. So let me show you the way that we use the touch screen. Now we've got here a photo of my pet dog Merlin and as you can see Merlin's got a slight issue going on here. He's got a bad case of the old pet eye happening. So we go into the menu here and we can go through our different design gallery, Photo Smart Express which will allow us to share photos, tagging, we can go into our slideshow mode and we can go down here and get to other camera controls as well. But I'm going to start in the design gallery because that's where I'm going to repair this photo because there are some issues. I go into the enhanced photo area and here we have pet eye fix which will allow us to fix up Merlin's bad eyes. Now what causes pet eye? It's actually similar to what happens to people when they get red eye. It's the flash reflecting off the retina in the back of the pet's eye. Now some animals, especially those with exceptional night vision like cats, have very large pupils and very reflective retinas. Their eyes are designed to capture as much available light as possible and that's what creates this shine. That's why it's always tricky to get good photos of family pets. But even if you don't get a good photo, you can fix them up. So we go here and I've gone into the pet eye fix and I just have to select here Merlin's eye, there it is, and click on fix, and now it processes it and it will repair it automatically for us. Now this is a little more labor intensive process than red eye removal because the smarts that are built into the camera can easily identify red eyes in a human face. Pet faces are more complex, so we actually have to manually go through and tell where the eye is. But as you can see here, it has managed to repair Merlin's eye, I would go through and repair his other eye, and we're off to the races. So now you can use HP's Pet Eye Fix and end up with fantastic photos of your favorite four-legged critters. I want to show you some of the other tools that are in here. So for that, I'm going to go back to my photos that I have pre-stored in here. And the next one that I have is of me, old beautiful Steve. I'm going to show you a blemish tool that they've got built into the software. So back into the menu, back into the design gallery, and we could remove red eye here, rotate the photo, apply artistic effects, back into the enhanced photo area, and I'm going to choose touch up. Now, we had difficulty finding a blemish in my flawless complexion, so we manufactured one. I'm going to zoom in here, and you can see down here, look, look how easy this interface is to use. We see we have an artificial blemish on Steve's visage, so we just simply select that there, go fix, and that quickly and that easily, any blemishes are removed. So for the people who are not naturally beautiful and don't have naturally beautiful complexions, they too can look like a million bucks. I'm going to show you one of the other tools which we really get a kick out of here, and that is the slimming feature. Here we have the lovely Genevieve, and although she does not need to be slimmed, she chooses to be slimmed. And for that, we go back into the design gallery, into enhanced photos, and we choose the built-in slimming feature. And this is a shortcut 
to svelteness. So here's how the photo looks originally, but we now just simply apply additional slimming, and now this can become a Facebook photo that you can be proud of. This is the one you send to your old boyfriend. Richard Simmons, eat your heart out. Okay, let us head over now into the camera mode because I want to show you another feature. This is HP's Steady Photo. So if we go into the camera menu, we now have the camera open. Here's where we set all of our different shooting modes and our different modes for our digital camera. So we can choose all of our different shooting modes, our exposures, panoramic photos, all that sort of stuff here. But Steady Photo is what I wanted to talk to you about. Steady Photo is anti-shake technology that helps you take clear and sharp pictures even in those difficult low light conditions. If the camera or the subject is moving, even a little bit, when the exposure of the photo has to adapt for lower lighting conditions, when we need a longer exposure, then you end up with those blurry pictures that we're all occasionally disappointed with. Well, Steady Photo is designed to help you overcome taking photos in those difficult lighting conditions. Now, I want to alleviate some confusion about Steady Photo. It's not the same as optical image stabilization. That actually uses motion sensors in the camera and compensates the optical elements to correct for motion. Optical image stabilization helps cameras if the camera is shaking, but it doesn't help in the low light situations that we're talking about, especially where the subject is moving. Digital photography all starts right here with a great camera. But where it goes at this point is what makes it spectacular. We can now print pictures directly or import them onto our Mac or PC for further editing so that we can include them in projects or share them over the web or by email. But it all starts with the camera. And that is the beginning of a memorable journey. I want to show you a few really important organizational tools that are built into HP's photo smart cameras. Now, I've talked a lot over the past few years about how difficult it is to organize our huge collection of digital photos and how important it is to tag our photos. Now, tagging means that we're marrying metadata tags to our digital photos. This metadata allows us to organize and search for photos regardless of how the file is named. Now, I've shown you before how to tag both pictures in Windows and in Mac once you get them on the computer. But these HP cameras now allow us to tag the pictures right in the camera. This is an outstanding way to sort your pictures. So you see here, I got a nice picture of Merlin all ready to import into the computer. I'm gonna keep this picture, I'm gonna go into the menu, and in the menu items under Design Gallery, PhotoSmart Express comes tagging. I touch the tag menu, and up comes some preset tags. Now these are the ones that ship with the camera right out of the box. But if I go into more options, I can create new tags of my own. When I tap on that, up comes a keyboard. Now this is a keyboard that's actually alphabetically laid out as opposed to the QWERTY keyboard that we're used to on our computer keyboard. So now we can type in Merlin's name and for those of you who don't like the QWERTY keyboard, think that it's slow, you should spend a little time in a keyboard that's laid out this way because I can tell you R L. I gotta find L. There's L. I over here and N is gonna be down near the bottom somewhere I think. No, look at that. N is in the middle of the alphabet. Who knew? Okay, when we say we're done, we now have a new tag created, and I can now tag this photo as Merlin, and you can of course apply multiple tags. I can also apply a pet tag, and when I say done, we see right here in the bottom that tags are now attached to this photo. Now there's one other tool that I want to show you, and that's called Photo Smart Express. This, once again, gives you the ability to decide what to do with a picture before it even gets into our computer. So when we go into PhotoSmart Express, we can have the option to set it up for printing as soon as we import it into the computer, sharing it, or we can purchase prints online. I'm going to show you the sharing option, and that brings us into the ability to attach email tags to the photo so that as soon as it's brought into the computer, we can email it to ourselves or to friends. And once again, if we go into the more options area, we can add new email addresses. And once again, you can type in the email address and look, they include the at symbol here and the period so that you can easily type in the complete email address. So now, when these images are imported under the computer, the tags and the email instructions are all going to be read and our pictures will be organized as